What's up, guys? I don't know how the signal's going to be because I'm on the Wi-Fi. Um, but I needed to update you on what's going on here. So hopefully I'm not, like, super laggy because I'm on the Wi-Fi because got no cell service. But that's okay. We'll see what happens. But I needed to show you I've got five baby Bashirs that hatched out. Connor, what's up? I got five baby Bashirs that hatched out. I got to feed my fish really quick because I had to switch them to a night shift for a couple of days because I started my new job. I just got off work and made it home and I still got to go back to my parents to spend the night there with my kid. I'm tired. My new shift starts at like 5 a.m. So I'm still working for Lucas. It's all whatever, but yeah. Anywho. I gotta feed these fish. Um, the bear's gonna grab me some blood worms. He's gonna be limping around. Um, if you're worried about him, he just hurts himself at work because he's a bear. Um, Jeremy's here, what's up? Um, I'm not gonna feed the Bashir's micro worms. That's what caused the others to die. That's not happening. We're gonna feed them Cory's fry food. I can't deal with this glare. It's just gonna have to be a thing because whatever. Why am I staying at my parents? Because my kid is over there because I have to leave for work very, very early in the morning. And instead of dropping her off over there, she's just spending the night over there. And she wants mommy to sleep on the air mattress with her. So we got to pick my brother up from there in the morning anyway. So they'll just pick me up there and we'll all ride together. No, they cannot only eat micro rooms, Jerry. Jeremy. They cannot any blood rooms. I'm um, I'm also, I got this lovely package. Get down the way. I got this lovely package from Stephen Conroe. Um, we got more Bashir food. What else did I get? Uh, it's over here. Bug bites, tropical, and pleco. What's up? What's up, Dan? What's up, Compton Aquarius? What's up, everyone? Connor's here, Unfiltered Aquarius, Stephen Conroe's here. So this is from Stephen Conroe's uh, website. It's 614fish.com, I think. You can, Stephen, are you a mod on my channel? Here, hang on. There, now you're a moderator and you can throw your link up. Um, and then I'm trying, I'm gonna try this first bite stuff later. I don't know what for, but I wanted it, so I got it. Uh, and then I also got a sweet sticker to put on the pond. So we'll put that on the pond with the rest of the stickers and I gotta feed these fish so that I can get back over to my parents. So I hadn't talked to you guys all week, so I wanted to say hi. Four for the rope, four for the rope fish, we need one for the axolotl and one for the... And six for the... Oh, no, no, the Bashirs are gonna eat the Massivore Delight. Um, yeah, there's a, he's got a discount on his website, it's YouTube, so if you put that in the discount code it'll get you a discount. And he's got like all kinds of Hikari food and stuff, and he's a good dude, so help him out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna crack this open because Bashirs are eating me out of bloodworms. It takes me like eight of these, or t eight or ten of these, to feed the Bashirs. It takes me eight cubes of bloodworms to feed the Bashirs. So this is much more cost effective. Oh my god. Are you gonna die, Bear? Oh my knee. Pull your pants up. <laughs> so the Bashirs are gonna get these and go crazy. Don't judge me, y'all. I'm old and broken. I gave him 10. Hopefully that's enough. Um, whew, I'm tired. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Okay. This is what else I feed my fish. This is for Corydoras. This is for Plecos and Snails. I got three left. I'm going to put more extra in here, but... So you're going to go to the Shears one so they can fight over it? Is that beef heart? Is it beef heart? Did you feed the rope fish beef heart? I swear I did. Go blood get it out of there. No, it's blood worms. What am I going to do with him? Okay, put these in here. Another brine shrimp. Well, that's not good. Well, yeah. yeah, you messed that one up there, bud. Uh, Easy with your mouth. Okay, that goes there, this goes down here. Not bad. 
They all they should not look alike. All the packages look alike. They're different colors. They come in the same packages. They're all gray when you open them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except both arms are red, but that's okay. We won't judge the bear. Okay. That's that. There's this. It's a madhouse in here. Okay, wait, I'm not paying attention. What am I not paying attention to? What's up, Mile High Plecos? You got a very nice super chat. Oh, crap. Is that Steven? Steven! Steven with the $49.99 super chat. It says pole dancing bear. Now you got to do a dance bear. Because Steven gave me a $50 <laughs> super chat. My knee is busted. His knee is busted. He ain't dancing. But if you want to know something real funny. No. So my new job <laughs> is at the same place the bear works at, being a picker for Chewy. Chewy.com, for all your uh, pet needs. Um, so today was my first day on my own, and I picked 534 pieces, which is almost the quota that you're supposed to be at, period. Nobody else in my starting class did anywhere near that, and everybody all day told the bear how much his wife was beating him, because the bear doesn't pick that much. Who's doing a collab? Whoop yeah, but I won't let her forget. Who's not letting me forget? What are we not forgetting? Ordered some snails, albino long from plecos and plants today. Sweet, Greg. I'm gonna have to get those ready next week. I'm so tired. What fish are you putting in it? What fish am I putting in what? Wait, who's getting something? Oh, Mile High Plecos got a hot tub. He's gonna put plecos in it, duh. We thought about that for the rope fish. But the bear does it in style? Yeah, okay. Okay, Dan. I did, I did 30 picks today. Yeah, 30. I did 534. But I'm the one who got your carts ready, too. I'm yeah, and you messed up one of them. Yeah, it's my first day learning a new technique. Look at this cart. It's all jacked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, I have to blah, take blah, it back blah. to my husband and be like, what is happening here? Some of them weren't reading. It wasn't working. That was nonsense. Oh, Plecos, here's your food. Here's some Pleco food for you and your face. There you go. And then I gotta put some of this in these down here so that the snails will leave the catfish food alone. And also breed snails. Yeah, if you're looking to breed snails, this is the best stuff in the whole world. They eat it and they breed like crazy. Is Caleb in here? Caleb, what is up, bro? Shrimps with Sweaters is in here. What's up? Eating dinner with your dad. Hi, dad. Hi, dad. What's even worse? Pieces of what? Piece, like, like items. So it's a warehouse and it's pick and pack. So I basically go to a location, I grab the thing, and I put it in a box. Depending on the size. I did that 534 times. From 50 pound bags of dog food. And most food. of it's like 30 or 40 pound bags of dog food and cat litter and cat food and nonsense. And treats and fish food, tetra colored. Yeah, animals. they sell tetra. And Hikari. <laughs> so all day, all day I'm looking at containers of food like, oh, this is junk. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, did I do that one? I think I did. Cool. Sweet. All right, that's that. Now, tropical formula. And everybody already loves her at work. It's ridiculous. I'm a very lovable person. The foreman loves her. Yeah, kind of nice. Give me a lot of fist bumps. So many fist bumps. So many fist bumps. <laughs> There's some food for you. Here, have some. Ah, no! Okay, it's fine. I didn't spill it. Food. Food, 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 food. Do, 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 do. Horde of guppies. Giant horde of guppies. There you guys go. Guppies over here. The bear is finally learning proper technique for feeding fish by not putting my eyedropper into the water and cross-contaminating all of the tanks. Thank God. Oh, Amber's here. What's up, Amber? Debbie Swan is here. What's up? Carrie's here. Hi, Carrie. Amber, how many tanks do you have? None, no. Did I bring Jack to everyone at work? No, that's just you, Stephen. Amber, what are you going to do with three baby Oscars? Oh, my gosh. Can't even. I can't even with you right now, Amber. I don't have time. 
Nobody telling us stuff. Joseph's the worst. Joseph's fantastic. Oh, so funny. Okay. So I got that, I got that, I got this. They got their food. Everybody's been fed. This goes up here, this goes up here, this goes up here. It's almost there. Right. It's bedtime. Yeah, and I gotta go home and go to bed. You gotta go to your And you've got the bloodworms. Did you switch the food out in the rope fish pond? Yeah, I put two more. No, I didn't grab them in there. They're probably already sank. It's dark. I couldn't see them. Is Before you leave in the morning, you need to check and make sure, open it up, and look and see if there's old food in there. If they haven't eaten that, we got to get it out. Oh, the humanity. Okay, so you want to... Why, why don't you run back there and check real quick while I entertain them? I will in a second when I'm done with this. Um, maybe I'll do a walk. Maybe I'll walk back there and show them the pond. You guys want to see the pond real quick before I have to shut this down? Yeah, baby Bashirs. Right, 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 right. Thank you, Dan Slee. Okay, so I have five. I'm going to move this real quick. Don't move right there. Yeah, okay. Don't move. Is my butt crack showing anybody? Yes, it is. It's fine. So I'm floating them in this container because I have discovered they do better in stagnant water. If I put an airline on them and moves them around, they don't like that. They want to just sit there. And right now they still have egg sacs so they can be in this container and be fine. There are five of them. And I think there were eggs in there this morning, but I wasn't here. I was at work because uh, I found like two eggs in there when I got home just now, which means they probably had a whole bunch more eggs that they've been snacking on all day. So, yeah, they're kind of like mosquito larvae. They look like little tiny tadpoles. Hang on. I'm going to point the camera down. So we have five to give this another try. Do you see them? Do you see the tadpoles? Let me get a light to shine on they them. are alive. No, I don't want to shine a light on them. They like the dark. So yeah, we got five more, and we have advice from Dean and Eric Bodrock that is going to make these five a success and not a problem. Oh, that's a snail. We don't need that. What was that? Tank, calm down. Tank just hit the water. He thinks he's a rainbow fish. Well, his problem is. Uh, there are no more unhatched eggs yet, but they keep spawning. And I'm sure there were eggs in those mops this morning, but I wasn't here. I was at work, so I couldn't do anything about it. So these are going to go back to floating because I don't want to bother them or keep them in the light too long. You guys float right there. Be smoking. Happy. Not the worst thing in the world. Okay. And I'm going to use my nice Science Gal Aquatics towel. If you haven't checked out Science Gal Aquatics, you should because she's fantastic should ask her how she does her water changes. She's a crazy person, and it's awesome. Um, okay, so did we want to take a look at the pond real quick before I have to run back over to my parents? Oh, and I didn't feed the rainbow fish. Dumb. I'm being dumb. My dad's out there trying to fix my van. I got my Wi-Fi turned back on, which is how I'm talking to you fine people. Because uh, it's getting tight around here at Oddball Aquatics. It's, it's just getting tight. Okay, so what's the consensus on the pond? Pond, Anubius, Boost? Yes, okay. The Boost in the pond did not work, Dance Lee. The Boost in this tank is doing fantastical. The snails are cleaning it. And it has grown like four new leaves. So that one's all right. The pond did get fed. I made the bear feed it, which is why he fed it wrong. But... That's okay. Fish tube with the $20 super chat. Okay, just for that, we're going to see the pond. You guys are going to freak out. You haven't seen this for a minute. I finally found my auction Anubis that's been missing for three weeks. Oh, great. Okay. Um, yeah. You guys, this thing has done some growing since you've seen it. What do we think? Thanks for the $20 super chat, fish tube. Okay, so the pearl weed is taken off. The pennywort has lost its mind. It's just gone crazy. Absolutely crazy. This stuff's starting to die back. I think the wisteria is killing it. Apparently, we fed the rope fish brine shrimp today. And they're eating it. So we're all right. We're going to be okay. There's still some sitting up here, but they'll find it. Um... Here's something really cool. So that's an Anubis, and that big leaf right there, so that leaf is the leaf it came with. 
Since I've had it in high light and 100% humidity in here, you see those little tiny leaves on it? It's like dwarfing itself. Kind of all the Anubis is doing that. Tiger Lotus is still throwing pads, but I've been trimming the pads that hit the top off. Like those four right there that are at the top need to come off. That way it bushes out more. And it's been working. It keeps throwing little babies everywhere too. Sorry about the glare. There's a glare. It's high light around here. Very high light. And everything's just opening up because I just turned the lights off. Yeah, it's got like submerged growth, which is amazing because it's obviously immersed. And then like I always throw trimmings and stuff all over the place instead of throwing them away. So like there's some wisteria growing over there and some rotala and random stuff grows in random places. Um, I'm also doing, I'll take some Lotus Babies, thanks. Okay, send me your address, Jeremy, I'll send you some. Um, I'm also trying to nurse these red mangroves back to life. Steven said, ooh, Steven with the 1999 Super Chat says, what you think about doing a co-stream product giveaway? Shoot me an email, when and where. We'll do it. Thanks for the Super Chat. We, we can make that happen. Oh, we gotta put that sticker on the pond. So these are red mangroves that um lucas got and he was gonna kill them so i brought them home and i'm trying to nurse them back to health they seem like they're getting better they were a little bit mushy and they're not so much mushy anymore all i did was throw a bunch of organic potting soil in here and flooded it so it, they're in mud and that's it with an extra light on them and the big light i also still have this uh this is still going pretty good this vase it grows a lot of algae. Um, I put it, there's still nothing in there, but I did put a nearite snail in there just to see. And he's in there somewhere. He keeps crawling out of the water, but just sitting at the top of the water. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I think he's all right. It's staying pretty warm in there. So yeah. So that pond's doing good. Let's go grab Steven's um, sticker. And we'll put Steven's sticker on there, because that needs to happen. See you later, Unfiltered Aquarius. Are you checking out? Did he check out? Sometimes the knee rights spend a lot of time out of water. Well, this one does, for sure. Don't look in my kitchen. I saw that. Okay. So, let's see. Here are our current stickers. Hunter has two stickers on there. Look at that. Okay, and we got to add Steven's sticker. Where are we going to put this? Next to A and B Spartan Aquatics. Where do you want to be, Steven? Do you want to be down here or do you want to be up here? Where do you want it? Hey, Nola Jane. What's up? Hey, Crystal. You like it on top? That's what he said. Okay. Right there she goes. Pew. All right. The sticker collection grows. Ah, oh, okay. Whoo, I'm tired. All right. Don't look at my kitchen. Stop that. You guys. Nobody told you you could look at my kitchen. Okay. I'm sorry my hair looks horrible and that uh, I look very tired. We're not getting a fridge tour. Oh, heck no. No, no. No. Not a chance, Jeremy. Not a chance. Tell you what, you come over, do all my water changes, I'll let you look in my fridge. Dean did a fridge tour. Well, Dean's a cook. I am not a cook. The only thing you're going to find in there is old Chinese food boxes and old pizza boxes and apple juice and chocolate milk because Jaden drinks chocolate milk. So all of my fish tanks need water changes because I currently have no hot water. Um, don't judge me. I'm on top of it, but yeah, can't do water changes cause no hot water. I'm thinking about getting a 55 gallon drum and heating up the water and then doing water changes, but that's a whole lot of work. I don't have time for it. Huh? You could do a chopped episode with those ingredients. Yeah, you could. <laughs> Nothing would taste good. Greg says, send me one of yours and LRB stickers in my order. Well, you'll get an LRB sticker because you ordered from LRB. Uh, the dragon does not have a sticker. I don't even have a logo, bro. 
I am the most low class ratchet YouTuber you're ever gonna find. This is me. It is all real. This is what it is. I am not a graphic designer. I have no logo. I have no stickers. I have a cat that likes bags that is currently jacking with a bag. That's what I have. If you would like me to send you this cat, I'm gonna need a little bit more in shipping. Also, it's gonna be Schrodinger's cat because I don't know how to ship a cat. Get out of that box. You're not going. Good Lord. Tell Pam to get on it. Yeah, Pam's got enough on her plate. She doesn't need it. There's a couple people that have told me that they'd work on a logo for me. I'm not holding my breath, but I'm just, I'm just in it to hang out with you guys. I'm not really in this for YouTube. I just, I just need to be with my people. Y'all are my people and I love you. And I need to show you what I, what I'm doing. Um, okay. So what else? What else? Steven's laughing his butt off. Actual apple juice or adult apple juice? Actual apple juice. I have a four year old. Actual apple juice. You had me at here some Jack, right? Judge and Aquatics does, Aquatics does stickers for trades. Yeah, but you have to send him what you want. Like, I, I don't, I don't have a logo. Like, this is LRB's logo. I don't have anything like that. I, I'm just not that savvy. It's whatever. It's not a big deal. Unless y'all think it's a big deal and you want some stickers. I mean, I can make you a rope fish sticker probably. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good at that. Brian says, will Bashir hybridize? I doubt it. I, I doubt it. Ah. It, it, if mine are any indicator, no. Because the Delhezi just mopes around all day like there's nobody in here for me to breed with. So I'm just stuck in this log all day. Because the rest of them are all Senegalis. Maybe he's too young. I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. He hit a growth spurt. It's hard enough to breed them as it is, let alone hybridize them. And hybrids are always real, real tricky. Steven puts a sticker in every order. So if you want a sticker from Steven, order some fish food. I like to pause before you said breed. Yeah, I had to think of a appropriate term. Whatever. Um, yeah. So I am super tired. I've been awake since 3 a.m. And worked a 12-hour shift. Crystal with the $5 super chat. Happy late birthday. Girl, you was with me for my birthday. So thank you for the $5 super chat, but it was a good enough birthday present just to get to hang out with you. And the bear's feet hurt. And like I told him and my brother, they were all like, do your feet hurt? Are you okay? Because we do a lot of walking around this warehouse. I was like, I kind of feel like I did half a day at Aquashella. No, my left foot hurt. My, my feet don't hurt. My knees. My thumb hurt for a little bit from driving the little scooter. I have to drive this little scooter thing with a cart behind it and boxes and not run into stuff. But you know. What's Sarah's email? Oh, crap. Where are my mods when I need them? Dan Slee, what's the shipping email for LRB? It's like orders at LRB Aquatics or LRBAquatics.orders at Gmail. Somebody will link it. Bear needs some Velcro shoes. I see all the oldies wearing them. They must be comfortable. <laughs> You're old, Bear. <laughs> I'm 37. Pam's needy. Hey, Pam. I got old body parts, but um, my body's 37. Orders.lrbaquatics.com. Fishtube? Why are you not a mod? There you go. Now Fishtube is a mod. Don't abuse that, Fishtube. But you stood up you stood up for me in Caleb's stream, so now you're a mom. Um everybody said, don't you don't you poke me bear. Um, okay. Lucas uh, has said the wrong one enough times, so I'm not sure. Yeah, hashtag me too. Cause da, Sarah's the smart one. Okay. I'm just a fish nerd. Hello. <laughs> with a <the> bear. <laughs> oh, bear fell down. <laughs> Uh, Pam is editing a video that Dan should watch. Uh, meanwhile, I bashed you in Caleb's stream. That's fine. There's a lot to bash. Whatever you need to do. Timepiece says, Ropefish is doing good. Awesome. Do you only have one? You need more. I need more. I need more. How's Pam feeling today? Are y'all okay? 
That's about all I've got. I put a spawning mop in with the Trilineatus Corys because I really would like for them to breed and they weren't breeding in the mop that was in there. So I'm thinking about hitting them with some cold water Sunday morning just to see if that gets them going because I've been pumping them full of blood worms all week and I'm hoping that that gets them going. We shall see. Amber, if you're still uh, lurking and listening, this betta Mahakaiensis, the dragon betta, he is ready for a girly friend. He is a bubble nest blowing machine. He's just blowing all the bubble nests. Meanwhile, baby Batman has just stopped blowing bubble nests. He doesn't care. Oh, okay. I have to get back over to my parents. I have to keep this short so that, you know, people actually watch it or something. Is that coffee? It's not coffee, it's milk. Oh, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want coffee. Um, your parents house I know, I'm about to go over there. Is dad ready to go yet? Yeah. Is he? Is he waiting on me or is he still working on the van? He's, a, he's at the van. Yeah. Oh. So my dad's out there working on my van. Everything involved with you is short, Haley. That's just rude, Pam. You want to know what's really bad? I have to wear this vest thing for work. I'm swimming in this thing, okay? I got a small, I'm swimming in it. Like and I also have to wear this scanner thing on my arm. A pit boy. It looks like a pet boy, but it's called a wrist rocket. And it's like got a scanner on it or whatever. Um, it does not fit me. I have to like bunch up my shirt underneath it just to get the strap to actually close because it won't stay in place. I gotta figure that one out. That's gonna be an issue for me. I'm too small for this nonsense. Hashtag Tony Dragon. Yeah. Hashtag Tony Dragon's fixing the van. No, we're just going to trash it. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. The van has kaput. Just get a microchip implanted. Oh, a scanner microchip. Oh, tiny dragon. That makes more sense. I am a tiny dragon. I am very small humanoid. I just rolled my eyes so far back in my head. I went back in time. I have to go herd a bear. Where you are, just, just quit, witch. Is that the bear? I'm tired. Oh, you're. Oh, are you tired? Because you picked thirty things today. <laughs> And your wife picked 534? I beat you by 503 things. Yeah, I was doing something. 504 you. things. I can't math anymore. I'm very tired. If I ever met a bear, it's going to be disappointing. He looks so huge next to you. Yeah, he's really not that tall. <laughs> nope, just about six foot. He, just you're about. not six foot. Like she's Stand not up five all the way. I, I am five, I am I am five, five eleven. You are not that tall. Yeah. Look, I am five foot even. Is he six foot? No, he's not. He's like five, he's five foot, foot six or something. Oh, no. Whatever. No, not five foot six. Is Haley sitting down right now? No, I'm standing. This is how big I am. <laughs> I'm very small. You need to check my license. Crystal says, are you going to Aquashella in Texas Audible Aquatics? I am going to try to go to Dallas next year. Hopefully, my finances will be a little bit better. And driver's license check? Yeah. It says five foot. Actually, it says five one because I told him I was five foot no, one. No, she screams five I one really at people. You want to be five foot one. She screams it. But I'm not. So whatever. But yeah, I'm going to try to go to Dallas <laughs> because I really want Caleb to go. And I think I'm going to take my kid. I think we're going to take Jaden. And I'm going to take the bear so he can watch the Jaden in the hotel room while I hang out with everybody in the lobby of the hotel. Because <laughs> that's what I like to do. Um, <laughs> so... I'm going to take the bear to babysit. That's fine. Um, Nola Jane's five foot four. That's not small. You're not small. You should have come up and said hi to me in Aquashell. I'm still a little bit, I'm still a little bit mad about that. Because Lucas got to meet you and I did not. Yeah, Carrie is actually a tiny bit taller than me. And therefore, instead of everybody bothering her about eating food, they bother me about eating food. Because everybody thinks I'm some kind of anorexic person. And really, I'm just small no, like she has a really high metabolism like she can eat i eat a lot of food, food all day and not gain anything chips fast food steak potatoes. jeremy says food and vet bills will right. cost a lot more than that connor yeah food and vet bills is horrible his eyes look like he's 11 foot tall i gained more <laughs> weight than her during her pregnancy but who's gonna babysit the bear yeah i don't need babysitting. he's a well-trained bear yeah and i drink a lot of coffee like a lot of coffee and it that. stunts my growth and stains that. my teeth 
Yeah, I have the metabolism of a hummingbird. That's right, Zen Ginger. It's it's a hummingbird. Like, I have to put sugar and sugar and sugar and sugar into it, and I can just go. Steven experienced a little bit of that when he was hanging around me at Aqua Shell. He's like, don't you? Are you going to eat something? Do you ever? Like, I got a burger when we all had dinner together, and I ate, like, half of it. And my french fries. And I, I, I don't know. Um, let's see. You have seven dogs, Connor? That's a lot of dogs. I did eat a lot of coffee beans at Aquashello. There is a bear falling asleep behind me, Candy. He, he worked all day, too. And worked harder than him. Yeah. He stood there and made boxes. I didn't make no boxes. He scanned boxes. It's very difficult. You have to hit... You have to hit what There's is like it? like a thousand cards Don't you have today. to hit F3? Oh my Did you gosh. forget that today for some reason with your problems? Joe, if you're problems? watching this, <laughs> I hate you. I pressed F3. And he was having a little problem with the scanner. It was pretty funny. Oh. That's how HD Aqua looks when he gets home from work. This is what I look like when I get home from work. So Friday, or no, Wednesday night I worked at Lucas's until midnight. And so it took me until 1.30, 1, 1.30 a.m. to get home. And then I had to be back up at 3.30 a.m. to be at work at 5. Because we have to pick my brother up. And I worked from then all the way until 5.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Went back to my parents' house. Ate. Ate. Showered. Came back home. Fed the fish. Turned all the lights on. Went back to my parents' house. Went to sleep at like... I don't know, 11 or midnight, something like that. I had to be Andy, back up at 3.30. Andy said he heard you snoring, so you slept some. Whatever. I don't snore. I went to bed at like 9.30. So, got back up at 3.30 a.m., had to be at work at 5, worked until 5.30 today. Tomorrow, I will be at work from 5 to 5.30. Tomorrow's 5:30. Friday. Woo! Tomorrow's the Friday at my second job, and then... Sunday, yeah. I have to be back up at Lucas's at 5 p.m. to work till 2 a.m. So, Beer 30 this is just what I always look like. I don't know. I don't need that much sleep, I guess. Maybe it's all the Sleep when you're dead. Jeremy's going to do a pistol Borelli outside all year round. That's going to be sweet. I have no idea. Either. Document it. We shall see if they All live. Better was pistol. A pistos. It's a type of fish, bear. My brain shut off. Bear just knows salmon. Pulls him out the river. <laughs> he pulls him out the river. Okay, so this is already half an hour. I gotta end it because I gotta go to sleep. Cause... You'll see how she treats me on camera. You should see her when, when she's not on camera. Yes, I'm aware, Stephen, that I'm missing swimming at OFR or tomorrow. I wanna go to Ohio Fish Rescue tomorrow. I can't. Because I have to be a responsible adult. It's unfortunate. I'm going to sneeze. Ah, uh, okay. I'm done. On that note, I'm going to bed. I'm going back to my parents, and then I'm going to bed. I hope your pistos make it. Bear, what are you doing? Stop <laughs> with your bareness. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> That's okay, Candy. I still love you. So if you're trying to get a hold of me uh, through Messenger, I know I usually respond like right away because I'm all about the rope fish haven't bred yet. I'm still working on that. I'm still I'm still working on that. Um, so if you're trying to get a hold of me and I don't respond like I normally do, it's because my phone is currently turned off. So the only time I can use it is when I'm on Wi-Fi. I will have it turned back on probably at the end of next week because that's when I'm going to get paid from my second job. And I have to go kill a bear. If you have a bear, train your bear. Live your best life. And don't let your bear be like my bear. Because <laughs> my bear is in big trouble. <laughs> I love you guys. Live your best life. Even when you're tired. And even when you can't pay your bills. And everything goes to crap. Just get on your grind. And Hell get it back going. Jazz hands. Peace. Oh my god, you guys. I gotta go. I love you guys. Yeah, peace Live out, your Bobby. best life.